Hey guys, what's going on? This is Apple Investigator here, and in this video I will be bringing you my continuing coverage of the iPad Air. I just picked this up today, and in this one I want to do some benchmark tests to compare this new iPad to the previous generation, the fourth generation iPad. So in this video we're going to be using Geekbench 3 to test a variety of different things within this application to see which one comes out on top. Now of course the iPad Air does feature Apple's A7 64-bit processor in there. So we can see with the iPad Air it's running iOS 7.0.3. It has that A7. It still says ARM but eventually that will say A7 and it's clocked in at 1.4 gigahertz with one gigabyte of RAM close enough on the scale. On the fourth generation iPad here we see it is also running 7.0.3. It has the Apple A6X chip inside clocked in at 1.4 gigahertz also running one gigabyte of RAM. Now we are going to start the test. I have speeded this up to double the speed at two times so that you're not bored here. And we're going to see how long it takes for the iPad Air to get its result. I'm assuming it's going to come first. Looks like at 31 seconds the iPad Air has gotten a 1480 on the single core score and a 2699 on the multi core. And as we await the result of the iPad 4, looks like it is coming in now about 30 seconds later at 60 seconds we get 784 on the single and 1427 on the multi-core score. So about double the performance as Apple claims with that new 64-bit desktop class architecture processor inside. You guys can see that the L1 instruction cache and the L1 data cache both have 64 kilobytes and that is where Apple gets that statistic. Anyways guys, that wraps up this video. If you did enjoy this, please be sure to hit that like button down below. You guys give a comment down below about this A7 processor. What are your thoughts on it? And please be sure to subscribe for more Air videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.